Greetings, gamer guys and gals, and welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Part number 18, and we just completed some events in the Under and found out about this town in general, and even found my favorite shop in the entire game, the Herb Shop, and we've progressed the story enough. But... Let us go ahead and check out a few things that I left undone last episode. Okay, we actually we have already talked to you. Um, all right, so over here is this elevator. You want to use this elevator the very moment that you get to this under Coliseum. Reason being is because this this elevator allows you to have an under location on the main world map this is awesome so as i told you before in last episode late into the episode itself that i use the under herbal shop as my means to buy all of my items to prepare for dungeons and other things of that nature um it's just a good idea it really just is a good idea the under a holy lawless underground town that is ruled by the criminal syndicate cypher so it's not just inhabited by cypher it's ruled by them pyrite has some inhabitants that seem like they're cypher-esque and we rooted some of them out but the under is really just it, it's almost like a prime location for cypher now okay so here's the thing um not only do you want to have this elevator um, actuated. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, very blatantly, that we are not ready for the story. So the story beats. Our next story battle is a significant jump from where we are. Our Pokemon are all in mid-level 30s. The very next fight we f partake in for the story um, is just wow just it, 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 it's a it's abysmal she is level 45s from what i'm understanding now there might be other means to which we can go about finding other places in the story and so on and so forth but uh we're going to go ahead and do a bit of in the background grinding and leveling up just a little bit because again we're just not ready we're we're not ready welcome to the under coliseum a knockout challenge just ended a short while ago. I will start registering trainers for the next knockout challenge just as soon as Lady Venus finishes giving away prizes to the winner. Alright, so we go down here, we check this place out. Huh? Are you looking for an autograph from me, the challenge champ? <laughs> no, we are not. It doesn't appear to open from the side. If you recall, this is a very similar site. In fact, it was in the in-game cutscene that we had uh, not too long ago where we saw Nascor, Venus, and Ayn all talking, and Ayn left through that door. Um, which means that we're pretty close to the next part of the story beats and being able to get onto wherever Ayn went. We take this UFO to the right now. We're going to use the R disc. And see exactly where it takes us. Uh, you absolutely need to talk to Silva. Um, so this is one of those moments where you could miss out on it because of, for instance, like the pyrite gear situation where the gear was in the construction lot. You could end up searching uh, the whole game up and down, left and right, before you found it. Found it, and That's what actually happened to me. Going into this interesting area. Okay, folks, we're all ready to go on the air. Hey, you there. Don't wander around the set. Okay, cool. West found rare candy. There are three of them. All right, so this should probably be enough of a warning for you that if they're willing to give you three rare candies right here, that you might want to level up for this next part of the story. Um, very much so. And there is nothing in this door. Lady Venus is especially confident of her right profile. Uh, 
what? It, that's interesting. Um, he, his camera's on her left side, but technically, if the picture would be taken of her right there, our right, my right, would be her left side. So is that technically her right profile? Hmm. I don't know. Testing, testing. The rain in the under is accompanied by thunder. Testing. All right. You there, you're distracting me. Quiet on set. All right, so you can't go down here. She'll just keep saying that. You actually have to battle her. L Lady Venus here has all level 45 Pokemon. Um, and most of them, if not all of them, are final evolutions. We are just not ready for that. We still have Pokemon that are not even fully evolved. Uh, we're just not ready for that. So what we're going to have to do is do some training. Now, I plan on going to visit some like Coliseums. I might even visit Py Pyrite Coliseum again um, and do some other things. Kind of like off screen. I'll maybe start it or finish it and leave some of that recording in the video. But as, as for reality, I am just going to mostly skip it since we've already been through Pyrite. I am going to do probably a little bit of Mount Battle 2 for coupons because of TMs. But again, um, it's just, this is kind of one of those unfortunate things about this game. Is that the difficulty of this game is pretty high. And there are a lot of quality of life improvements that could be made to this game to make it so that you don't really have to grind. Some people like grinding in their games. I don't. I personally believe that the way that they dealt with the experience share situation in newer pro Pokemon games is the better way. Some people will... Obviously, they need to up the difficulty of the Pokemon that you're facing so that they're at least on par with your Pokemon. That's the reason why people don't really care for the experience share in modern games because it makes your Pokemon too powerful. That's not a problem of the experience share. That's a problem of the level scaling. Um, which is just Game Freak's issue of design philosophy. Like, Genius Sonority here made a very difficult game. I did happen to already fight Venus and lost three Pokemon to her first two. And she has a full team of six. And I just gave up. I was like, you know what? We're going to have to reset here. Because this is not good. Um, she was competently ten levels higher than all my Pokemon. And I didn't even see the rest of her team, which means that some of her, the rest of her team could actually be quite a bit more powerful um, than even level 45. So it's just kind of a good and prudent idea to go ahead and level up a little bit. So now that I've showed you that, explain to you exactly why, I'm going to go ahead back forward and deal with a little bit more of like grinding-esque things so I will see you guys shortly all right so as you can see I decided to take the Mount Battle Challenge as a bit of a grind and this is area one and level one and do we see a possible problem here Level 18 and level 15. You're actually supposed to use this area pretty much the immediate moment you get to it, but I just don't like grinding, and now I'm suffering for it. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and probably just go straight through, beat a couple of areas from Mount Battle, and get back to it. Why, you might ask, I am not using the other methods of grinding, like for instance the Colosseums, which I th find are better is because Pyrite Coliseum starts at level 50 right now. We are not competent enough to beat level 40s and 45s. Level 50s are a whole nother story. And I don't even know that we can get into Fennec. I'll probably try to get into that Coliseum after the, this factor, but I'm just unsure. Um, now, when it comes down to it, there is also another place we could go, which is the pre-gym. Justy invited us to battle him the moment we had six Pokemon. Um, I do believe none of them can be shadow Pokemon in order for him to fight you. Which is not a problem, because we don't have shadow Pokemon anymore in our team. 
Alrighty. So, after this battle, I'll see you all later. And here we are, everyone. Going on to Area 10, which is the first quote-unquote boss level of Mount Battle. And as you probably could have suspected if you were paying attention at all to the moment ago when I was just in Area 1, I breezed through this. In fact, I was literally just spamming the button A. I was just spamming the A button all way, getting it done and over with. There was even a battle where there was a Poochiana and I was spamming A and I hit with confusion and it said it didn't affect him and I was like, oh wow, I totally forgot about that. But I also had Umbreon out and he was using Bite so I got rid of him anyway. So that fight actually took a notable two turns instead of one. Alright, so advance to the next zone. Part of the reason why I'm doing this is for a progress report. Hi Wes, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready for serious training? Even though you saved me, a battle's a battle. Let's not waste any time. Yeah, I want to show, like, a progress report for, like, what happens here as well as the next uh, little bit of an area. He's sending out Zigzagoon and Wismer. That, that's cute. Um, and they're both quite a bit higher level than most of the other Pokemon in this area. And so after we beat this little area, we're going to have to deal with the receptionist because there's a receptionist w between each and every area, and we'll see exactly what happens there. But as for the time being, let's just go ahead and blast through, shall we? Blast through completely. Ooh, Zigzagoon, you went down with a thunderous flash. Ooh, it's just too powerful for you. Confusion was mighty destructive. And Espeon gained a whopping 57 EXP in Slugma, you know, 115. He's, he's basically getting double. Um, I did not know that that's how the experience share worked in this game, is that it basically took all the experience that both your Pokemon gained, added it together, and gave it to the Pokemon that's not even contributing to the battle. I was sure that it worked completely differently than that, but hey, you know, I'm not complaining. Slugma needs the levels. And finally, we see one level in this whole entire area. He is level 36. Ooh, slack off. Again, I wish I could have the slacking line in this game, that would be most fun. Especially if I could have the Slow King line in this uh, run as well, because then I could use Skill Swap and <laughs> just bust the game wide open. Actually, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and attack into both uh, this time. Actually get rid of the Whismer. You're also, so, okay, so here's my problem with Mount Battle. It's supposed to be this daunting gauntlet, but from what I can tell, you are completely healed between each and every fight. There were a couple instances where my Pokemon were actually damaged, and that had to do with the fact that the Pokemon that were being used against me had, like, quick attack. And so... It was kind of baffling to me. Because all of my move PP power points were being um, refilled in between each battle, and I was just like, but this is supposed to be this daunting challenge even when you first came here, even when you first beat Dakeem, which was not that long ago, mind you. I I'm pretty sure all of us recall this. It was not that long ago. Um, you could start this challenge and look at how strong Vander is. No wonder Dakeem did not want to fight him. Like, no wonder. He was not capable of fighting. Player defeated area leader Vander. Fantastic. You've cleared Area 1. Congratulations, you really are talented. Now go on, someone will give you Poke Coupons in the break room. Alright, so the break room. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and check. My Pokemon, fully healed. Uh, my PowerPoint, fully healed. Not not that daunting of a challenge, it's just tedious. Alright, so we are in the break room. Oh yes, you have cleared Area 1. Congratulations! Here are your Poke Coupons for surviving the knock knockout challenge. Wes won 100 Poke Coupons. Would you like to go on to the next area? 
Yes, we would. We'd like to advance. I like your challenger spirit. Show them what you're made of. All right, folks. This is where we go ahead and uh, just decide to rendezvous later. I will be back. I'm going to be doing some grinding off screen because this is about as exciting as peeling your toenails off and watching paint dry at the same time. Back again. We are at the leader of Area 2. Let's get this started. Yahoo! I'm Arth. I'm the genius area leader of Area 2. That's me, Arth. Okay, let's see if you can go on or not. Battle, battle. Area leader Arth would like to battle. Pineco and Lediva. They're a little bit higher level than the average Pokemon here, but there's kind of like a theme going on with Mount Battle. It's not exactly like 10 levels difference um, <clears throat> between the areas. It doesn't it doesn't really scale that way. I think at, at the end you're fighting Pokemon that are in like the level 60s, maybe 70s. But the first couple areas definitely give you the the kind of like the feel that that's the case. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take out Pineco. One hit wonder. Uh, it's kind of to be expected. My Pokemon are all 10 levels higher than the current Pokemon. I'll probably be getting a, a quite fair bit of EXP the next area we go through, but... I don't know. It's kind of a shame. This is, um, like, my best area to grind in, honestly. I'm going to actually check the Fennec Coliseum at some point as well, and then the pre-gym, but really, in all reality, this is kind of your best option. There's not very many options to grind at this moment. And that, myself, that was something I did wrong to myself. If I had done this area back when it was first accessible to me, it would have granted much more experience points for the time. But it's still not much, if we're being honest. Most of my Pokemon were like low 30s or high 20s at that point. And he has Anorith. Got an interesting team at the very least. Ladybug showing his special defensive prowess. Let's go ahead and use Confusion here, and bite right there. And Lediba is gone, critical hit or not. Yeah, the experience points I'm getting here, even even when I, if I had done this area when I first came here, is kind of just so pathetic that it's just not, it's not, it wouldn't have made that big of a difference, honestly. Um, I do think that I probably should have at least done the first couple of areas when I first came here. You don't have to beat this game or the Mount Battle in, like, one sitting either. You just have to beat every ten area in a single sitting. So I could beat the first ten area or ten areas and then... Or the first area with ten rooms. Ten levels in one sitting, and then it'll save there. You have to save, obviously, but it'll save there. And then you can re-go re through whatever you left out on. So once I beat this area, I could go ahead and save it and, and quit for the time being and not go to area three. Gaia! I haven't battled this hard for a long time. Oh, it was fun, all right. Go get your Poke Coupons in the break room. Oh, yes. Poke Coupons rewarded 200. A big whopping nothing. Yeah, my challenge continues, in fact. We're going to go ahead and save it here. 
and do a little bit more grinding, so yet again, I'll be back. What? Slugma is evolving? About time. We have been using the experience share greatly to get our Mikargo. And finally, we have our Mikargo. What a fantastic thing that is. All right, so Mikargo, our new member of our team quite a bit bulkier. In fact, yes, he he does have the defense I originally remembered him having, and special defense as well. Um, and now he's a fire rock type, which is great. He's still got his rock throw, which he finally gets stab off of. It's not that great of a move, but it's better than nothing, let's be honest. I just thought I would make a little bit of an aside so that you can see that happening. Oh! Uh, and we're back to grinding. Alright, we are back with the third area leader. Welcome, I'm Renson. I'll be providing the finishing touch to Area 3. Area leader Renson would like to battle. And she is starting with Staryu and Horsey. I think we're actually going to switch out to Meganium. Just because Meganium hasn't gotten any experience points during this whole entire fiasco. Partially due to the fact that uh, it's just been easier to have uh, my Umbreon and Espeon out. They just blow through everything. And that's kind of a fact. Alright Umbreon, come on back and let's bring out Meganium. We're going to be doing the tried and true because I believe she has nothing but water Pokemon. The tried and true helping hand razor leaf strategy. Oh. Your water gun does nothing to me. And Twister. Very interesting move. Alright, so, um, previously in this Let's Play. There was a Pokemon that used Gust, and I thought that that move was supposed to hit every Pokemon on the opposing team. It was actually Twister. I was getting the two confused. Um, and I knew that after the fact, but I just wanted to bring it up when we encountered it, if we did. Uh, Twister is basically the same base power, but it's a Dragon-type move, so it's special, not physical. And it hits both Pokemon... And it does double damage if the Pokemon is in the air because of Fly. Um, it's kind of like, but why would you ever use that move, though? I mean, if it's all you had as a Dragon-type move, you know, it's not terrible, but there was better options. Yep, we're just going to keep blasting through with the tried and true. Poor Renson. I'm guessing that's supposed to be some kind of some kind of pun about r rinsing, like with water. This game loves its puns. Pokemon itself loves its puns. And Corfish is gone. And Goldeen is gone. See, the strategy is actually quite effective. It's quite useful. Um, having a helping hand team member. And because Espeon is going to be relegated to more support than anything half the time, it's kind of a good idea. Alright, so we're just going to blast away. You can definitely tell the difference between the model quality. Like, I have a Gen 1, uh, Gen 2 Gen 2 Pokemon, and she has a Gen 3 Pokemon on the field. You could definitely tell the quality difference. Player defeated Area Leader Renson. That's magnificent! While she's crying on the floor. <laughs> it makes makes sense. After all, you were good enough to reach here. Go on to the break room and get some Poke Coupons. Oh, 
Oh, yes, you have cleared Area 3. Congratulations. Here are your Poke Coupons. We get 400. So it goes up um, per area you beat, but you actually don't get the big chunk of Poke Coupons until you've beaten the final area, which is kind of incredible if we're being perfectly honest uh, okay so i'm just to give it kind of some reality here as to the reason why i'm not too fond or particular of this i've basically beaten a third of this this game's mount battle and it has taken me almost an hour like very close to an hour and we're not even to the hard battles yet like i'm just breezing through when I start getting to the battles that are take me multiple turns and I, I'm actually kind of struggling or or they're competently level to what I am at, that's when it's kind of crazy. Because this this mount battle just takes forever at that point. And again, sorry to say, but we will be going back and uh, leveling up some more. Because again, all of my Pokemon are like upper 30s now mid to upper 30s instead of like mid 30s we haven't gained much experience points from this fiasco and truth be told we are still nowhere near ready for for venus so again i'm probably going to beat area four maybe area five of this mount battle and then i'm going to actually go ahead and try to fight justy and fennec coliseum I'm going to see if both of those are possibilities. So I'll see you guys in a few. And here we are to level 40, the area leader of Area 4. Let's check him out. Anchoring Area 4 is me, Trench. Go, go, go. Area leader Trench would like to battle. Nose Pass and Lilip. Very interesting uh, lineup here. As you can see, we are finally fighting competently leveled Pokemon, and it's been that way this entire area. I've actually gotten a, quite a few levels on several of my Pokemon. Macargo is even level 40 right now. So I think we've we've reached a point at which we're finally gaining good enough experience points. I think I still want to be Area 5 before I move on to any other form of grinding just because I know that whenever we do come back to this to Mount Battle, which I probably am going to finish it in the story mode, just because of the grinding and plus the coupons would give me a, a great opportunity to get all of the TMs that I want. So, uh, some of the TMs in this game cannot be bought or obtained by any other way than through coupons. So that's also like a consideration to think about astonish huh it's astonishing you would even have that move you're not a ghost type and it's only 30 base power ah uh, let's see you know what we're gonna do we're actually going to reflect for this team do i th honestly believe i need it no but why not have a little bit you know more capacity it looks like he's got a ground type team kind of like ground and rock kind of thing so we might end up switching out Umbreon here to our very own Meganium. Besides that, Meganium is our lowest level Pokemon right now that is not in possession of the experience share. Mantine has just taken that because my Mantine is only level 35, which is still kind of abysmal. Like, we would probably have to beat the next two areas and beat Fennec Coliseum, if we can even go there, by the way. I, I don't even know. It's it's kind of been a quite a bit of a long time since since uh, that was the case for me to know. Uh, I haven't played this game in uh, years, in fact. And uh, so I'm going to be checking out Fennec Coliseum after I do the pre-gym with Justy. Uh, and, you know, whatever else we do here. All right. Smacking Lilip with that Psy Beam. Oh, pretty good damage. Lilip is not... E that's not even a Cradilly, but if, if if he had a Cradilly there, the defensive prowess of that Pokemon is so cool. I actually really love that Pokemon. He's one of my favorite um, uh, fossil Pokemon. I, I, I'm totally losing what I was trying to say there. 
Um, but absolutely, I love Cradilly. Gen 3 just had good Pokemon all around. Good rock Pokemon, too. Solid rock Pokemon. Uh, by design and capacity to be used. Mantine grew to level 36. Awesome. Sending out Rhyhorn. Unfortunately, I just used Razor Leaf. And Fampy. Oh! Fampy did not faint. Rhyhorn did. That was kind of to be expected there. And Barboach. So obviously we're going to use a another wonderful Razor Leaf. It's actually we're gonna attack Barboach there. I doubt Barboach is going to survive that Zy Beam. Let's let's be real. Yeah, I didn't think so. Wouldn't have mattered either way. Pretty sure Barboach at this level would just instantly faint. To a razor leaf from my meganium. And Fampy is gone. Area Leader 4 has been thoroughly trashed. <laughs> Player defeated Area Leader Trench. Oh, yeah, that was spectacular. You battle tremendously well. I'm looking forward to seeing how far you can go. Go on, collect your Pokey Coupons. I'm looking forward to seeing how far we can go too, especially since this is a very great way to gain experience points at this time, and actually it's the best way to gain experience points at this time. Um, at least from what I can tell, it's the best. And we will be getting... 600 Pokey Coupons. Very nice. Of course, we're going to advance. I'll see you all in a few. Finally, we have reached level 50. The Area 5 leader. Let's fight. Area 5, the last in Mount Battle's first half, ends here. The closer is me, Zenton. He said, I think he meant closer, not closer. Sometimes Beautifly and Swellow. Two competent Pokemon. And we have our, our trusty Umbreon and Espeon. Alright. Let's see what goes on here. Quick attack. That might be quite powerful. I, that was decent damage for a 40 base power move. Then again, Swella was also getting the same type, type attack bonus for it, so... Here comes Gust! And it only hits one of us! How useful! Not even same type... Oh wait, no, it is same type. Beautify is a bug flying. Beautify is a bug flying. That's for sure. All right, so let's go ahead there and there. Your aerial ace does not frighten me, though it is much more powerful than your quick attack. All right, side beam, get Swellow out of here. Perfect, awesome. In fact, we're probably going to switch out Espeon. Hopefully, Espeon doesn't get attacked. <laughs> oh, she's well. He's definitely going to get attacked by this beautifly. We just know what's going to happen. Masquerain. Oh! Awesome! Espeon gets to die another day. Which is perfect because we need all the experience points we can possibly get with all of our Pokemon. Like, every last drop. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's send out Macargo. And... Confuse Ray? On Masquerain, I guess? Espeon would be actually pretty great here still because of the fact that Espeon has psychic type moves and Golbat is a poison type Pokemon. But, oh well. The experience points are far more valuable than uh, the effectiveness Espeon would be giving us in this battle. And as you can see here, all of the Pokemon are level uh, around 40. So we are finally seeing some decently powerful Pokemon. And I would dare say it is a very welcome and joyous thing. Umbreon became confused. Ah, so unfortunate. I, Even though I use Confuse Ray and Confusion stuff... In this game, I will say Confusion is probably one of the more annoying status ailments. I would say the most annoying is Attract, because Attract is basically just Confusion, except it lasts forever. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Level 39. Trying to get all of my Pokemon to about level 40 to 42 before we deal with Venus because it's just smart, I would say. Golbat is not very much of a threat right now, except for the fact that he can make us flinch and he can confuse us. Ah, oh, come on, Umbreon. Do something useful. Wing attack. I was expecting a water move and Mikargo to be very much done under. Ooh, a burn. Alright, uh, we can do one more of that. Hopefully, hopefully Pelipper doesn't use a water move here. We're kind of banking on the wrong thing, if we're being honest. But, you know what? Again, experience points are useful, and Macargo could be a help here. Yeah. So Pelipper did not use a water-type attack, which I'm wondering if this Pelipper even has. Because you would almost expect him to use it. It would be four times effective. All right, so we're going to go ahead and flamethrower you and bite you. Macargo is very much more defensive physically and special compared to Slugma, to the point where it's basically like we have a totally new Pokemon. And this Pelipper must not know a water-type attack. Just must not. There's, there is no way, no feasible reason why he has not used it. In fact, we're going to swap out Macargo just in case. Oh, actually, no, we don't have to. Pelipper is going down. I forgot about the burn. Awesome. All right, so flamethrower and bite, and we'll finish out this battle. Umbreon flinched. Unfortunate. But... Macargo is the bigger threat here. And you're gone, Golbat. Just thoroughly gone. Player defeated area leader Senton. Yeah, great job. With Area 6 starts the latter half of Mount Battle. Keep your drive alive. Don't forget up to pick up your Poke Coupons. We will definitely not forget to pick up our Poke Coupons. We worked hard for those, in fact. Oh yes, you have cleared Area 5. And we get 800 Poke Coupons. Ah. 
All right, so let's go ahead and save here. And I think that's about it for this episode. We have gone through much of Mount Battle in our attempt to grind. I think next episode we are either going to spend a little bit more time at Mount Battle, maybe do another area, and then go on to the pre-gym and check to see if Fenex Coliseum is available to be played. Uh, it would be nice if that was the case because I would like to at least get to the point where, like I said, my Pokemon are relatively around level 42-ish before we fight Venus because all of her levels are around 45. And I think at 42 we would still be competent enough that we can deal with her team. But her team's going to be quite annoying because she has a tract on almost all of her Pokemon. So that's going to be very interesting. It's going to be kind of a bit of a slog going through that fight. Hopefully we can do it in one go. Um, and she also has the second Pokemon in this game that I will purposely not catch right now. Yes, I know. I know. I have not caught several Pokemon thus far. But there are three Pokemon in this game that I actually am refusing to catch until later on in the game. And she has the second in fact, we're not too far off from the second and third, if we're being honest. But with all that being said, I thank you for joining me, and I hope that you have liked this content today and enjoyed our ride, our wonderful fight through Mount Battle. I know I did. See, you're only getting to watch the highlights of Mount Battle, the area leaders. But I just spent the past, like, hour and a half fighting Mount Battle till level 50 and we're not even remotely close to being done with mount battle we're not even remotely close to the difficult battles in mount battle <laughs> so i'm sparing you some of that i thank you for joining me and i will see you all next time